it's just such a great pleasure for me, and I couldn't be happier um, than to be here to introduce Janice Ian. Well, probably, uh, you know, the first time that you made uh, a national impact was with Society's Child, of course, and uh, the song is really so interesting. I mean, first of all, as, as I'm sure you all know, is, you know, it's about an interracial relationship, which was uh, daring. But one of the things that really struck me about it, uh, particularly, you know, reading your account of it in, in your book, is the degree to which, you know, sort of at the end of the song, you kind of implicate the girl in the attitudes. Very deliberately. Yeah, and I mean, that was a kind of, uh, it wasn't, certainly wasn't anything that I noticed um, in that, I mean, finger pointing songs or protest songs were, were, you know, part of the fabric of that time. But there were certain songs, like a song like Phil Oaks, like Love Me, I'm a Liberal, or something actually questioned Mm -hmm. you know, the, the convictions of the, of the audience that often a lot of other people were flattering. Right. And in a sense, Society's Child does exactly the same thing. It, it sort of implicates the girl in the attitudes that uh, she sees sort around her. Of about it. She says, I can't see you anymore. That's it. It's my own fault. She says, someday, maybe I'll be okay with this, but I'm not right now. I can't take the pressure. And that was really deliberate because I thought, as much as everybody who wore a work shirt and had long hair was somebody that I figured I could trust. There was also an element of what we, what we now call folk Nazism, which is the, the people who believe that um, all folk songs should be of the people by the people and something that they agree with. And if you disagreed with them, like putting a harpsichord on or God forbid I use drums, they became enraged. And so when Society's Child came out, I didn't just catch flack from the um, conservative element of the audience that didn't want any part of a song about a black boy dating a white girl, I caught the same amount of flack from the folk audience, who in large part turned their backs on me, and many folk singers as well, because I put drums on the record and I had the nerve to have a hit record. You were supposed to starve. I mean, you're not a real artist if you're not hungry, right? Make me crazy. Well, I wonder if uh, maybe we can hear Society's Child. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting the drums. <laughs> You'll have to bear with me because since this isn't all pre-recorded, there will be tuning. They say 
one of these days I'm gonna stop my listening I'm gonna raise my head up high One of these days I'm gonna raise up my glistening wings and fly explain to my friends that I'm writing an autobiography. Because really, politicians write autobiographies. You know, People who have changed the world write autobiographies. Singer-songwriters' autobiographies are not an object of great interest. And um, the more I thought about it, the, the more nervous I got, the more embarrassed I got that I was somehow setting myself above everybody I knew. And so I thought, well, I've got to do something so that when I sing in front of an audience, uh, they don't think that this is really weird. So uh, I wrote this. Notice it's a folk song. I know you and I'll agree What this world needs is a lot more me well, I have found a remedy Gonna write my autobiography I've led a fascinating life I've had a husband and a wife But you will truly be amazed At just how humble life stayed Enough about me, let's talk about you What do you think of me? You must feel such gratitude That you will get to read my autobiography Things aren't as scary when you can laugh My life didn't have a very good plot I guess I'll have to lie a lot It should be easy to make things up There's no one left to call my bluff A lot of my old friends have passed on Rested drugs and their memories gone So I'll write my own history In my autobiography I'll say I slept with a Kennedy I don't remember which one They all look the same to me Or they did when we got done Maybe they'll film it for TV Wonder who they'll cast as me It should be somebody I look like Sigourney Weaver would be alright It's gonna be hard to deal with fame Once this whole world knows my name But I'll stay humble and grateful too all the little people like you A thousand pages more of me And all I've seen and done It will be my legacy And that's just volume one My autobiography I really was totally convinced that 
I was the only person on earth who had ever felt this way, and it was so embarrassing to me and so shameful and humiliating to me that when I finished writing it, I promised myself I would never sing it because I couldn't imagine getting up in front of an audience and, and exposing myself this much to the possibility of ridicule. So imagine my relief. I learned the truth at 17 That love was meant for beauty queens And high school girls with clear skin smiles Married young and then retired The Valentines I never knew The Friday night charades of you were spent on one more beautiful At seventeen I learned the truth And those of us with ravaged faces Lacking in the social graces Desperately remained at home Inventing lovers on who called to say, come dance with me and murmured vague obscenities It isn't all it seems At seventeen A brown-eyed girl in hand-me-downs Whose name I never could pronounce Said, pity please, the ones who serve they only get what they deserve And the rich relationed hometown queen Marries into what she needs With a guarantee of company And hey, for the elderly Their small town eyes will gape at you in dull surprise When payment due exceeds accounts received at seventeen It was long ago and far away and The world was younger than today When dreams were all they gave for free To ugly duckling girls like me We all play the game and when we dare We cheat ourselves at solitaire Inventing lovers on the phone Repenting other lives unknown They call and say, come on, dance with me And murmur vague obscenities At ugly girls like me At seventeen